this, this place is the future. Is the future. Well, this is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, this is this is going to be one of the most modern railway stations in the in world. In the world, isn't it? this is just unbelievably huge. Keep it up one more minute. Keep it up, you're so great. Standing, talking, you got me checkmate. No one's watching or nothing. I have cleared out the room, also that you can get to be the big spoon. So today we're going to take you to show you the largest railway station in Asia at the cost of over five billion dollars. So this is Shang'an Railway Station. Basically, this is the centerpiece of um, Shang'an New District, and this will be a city by 2035 that accommodates 25 million people. And the railway station was one of the first projects to be um, completed. It was started, I believe, in August 2017 and completed at the end of 2020. He has a bottle of juice in the front, but that's a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's it, just taking a break? Seems so. The roof is covered in um, solar panels and it can generate 5.8 million kilowatts of electricity. So the building to an extent will be self-sustaining from a point of view of electricity. Basically, we'll have express trains running from here to Beijing, which will take you about 50 minutes. Um, and to Daxing Airport. Now Daxing Airport um, is something that was, it's a new, Beijing's new airport and it's pretty much smack bang in the center between here, um, Zhongan and Beijing. So it takes you a half an hour by high-speed rail link to Beijing from Daxing and to get to here between 19 and 25 minutes. So it would be very easy to see people um, commuting between here and Beijing. And what, what they're gonna do, one of the reasons they've, they've built these cities, they felt Beijing was just getting too crowded and they're gonna move a lot of the um, back-end, non-core administration jobs from Beijing to here in, in Zhongan. But before we take you for a deeper look inside Asia's largest train station, just a quick word from the sponsor of today's video. Whether you're accessing the internet from home or when you are traveling, your online privacy is of the utmost importance. And it's no surprise why 30 million people worldwide have tried private internet access. As it changes your IP address and reroutes your internet traffic through an encrypted tunnel, private internet access hides your online activity from your internet service provider, network administrator and government sensors. Private internet access is the most customizable VPN on the market, allowing you to make your VPN experience truly your own. Using next generation server infrastructure in over 75 countries means you get a secure, reliable VPN connection anytime, anywhere. And private internet access also works with all your favorite streaming services like Hulu, Netflix, Disney+, BBC and many, many more. You'll get unrestricted access to all of your favorite content anywhere in the world. So I've personally used private internet access for a while now and I'm very happy to recommend it to you. Signing up to private internet access is absolutely risk free. Not only is there a 30 day money back guarantee, but their customer support team of experts is available 24 seven. To get this fantastic deal, use our link in the description below. You'll get complete digital privacy for $2.08 per month for three years and you'll get two months free. And finally, I'd like to say thank you to Private Internet Access for sponsoring today's video. <laughs> you know who that is, right? Of course you know who that is. Howdy, Jayo. <laughs> So the actual station has five levels. There's two underground levels and there's three overground levels. This place is so amazing. The roof itself provides 5.8 million kilowatt hours of electricity a year to the surrounding area. We're in here now and it's very unlikely that once it comes into full operation, 
it will be like this again because it will be absolutely full of passengers. Wow, look how new it is. Whoa. Wow, look at these check-ins, man. They've all got like facial recognition. They're all brand spanking new, look. Wow. Oh, so these are the trains going today. And um, this is our train here, which we bought the ticket for, but as I said earlier, we're not actually going on it, but the only way I could get into here was to buy a ticket. So uh, obviously, there's a part of the station over here which is not open yet. Oh man, look at these cool waiting areas. Oh man, look at this. This is such a cool waiting area, look. Oh, look at these seats and stuff. Wow, that's really nice, man. Yeah, look at that. That's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. They got, this is just, just gleaming, you know. Oh, there's some pictures over here, look. Let's go and have a look at, at these pictures. Wow. This is obviously an area that's not open yet. Um, over here. Oh, these are some pictures of the, when they were constructing it by the looks of it. Um, this is all pictures of the construction of it. Oh, look at this, man. Wow. Air conditioning units, you've got 5G things and you've got cameras here. Um, I guess there will be um, stores and shops uh, when it's all fully operational. But uh, they obviously haven't got them at the moment. But you can just get an idea of, I mean, it's a huge station and the architecture is really nice the way they've got these these sort of arches in the roof. That's really nice, man. These are all the gates. You'll obviously get um, the escalator or the elevator down to the platform. How many passengers do you think are going to run through this place in a few years? God knows. Millions? It'd be lots. I mean, well, they they want to accommodate a, all the people in this city. It'll serve a city with 25 million people by 2025. Jesus. So they'll, they'll, they'll be like, what, a million a year or so going through it? Holy moly. Whoa. Whenever I see projects like this, and uh, obviously this is a massive project, even in the terms of China, which which in the terms of China, a massive project in China is internationally massive. Maybe Dubai could only supersede the construction projects that happen here. No way do they compare in any way to a lot of the construction projects I've seen in the States, even Las Vegas, which uh, when I was there was building the new uh, Avi uh, construction project. I mean, that was huge, but that was just teeny tiny compared to this. But, so when I hear about the whole, you know, Chinese can't build anything, that all this stuff is gonna fall apart, it's, it's you know. The, the, the thing I'm always trying to talk about is how people underestimate what this country is capable of. In the positive realm, not in the negative realm. I mean, they obviously have negatives, all countries have them. But you cannot, you cannot, look away when you're standing in front of a project like this, the capabilities of a country like China to get things done on a truly impressive and massive scale. It is really, really awesome. How long would it take for them to build this in UK? Oh, it would be way longer than here. I, I, I can't put a time on it, but it would be way longer and it would go way over budget. And people talk about corruption in China. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. think about, like, this place would be built on pennies on the dollar that it would take. They, they make a decision to do something, they just get on with yeah, it, yeah. you know? There's none of all this, like, debating it for years and years and years. They just get on and do it, man. Look at these yeah. trains, man. They're just beautiful, aren't they? They're, They're like, like works of art. I mean, I'm not are, trying yeah. to, like, <laughs> and, and they're so kind of stylish and you know and the trains here are like clockwork and aren't so they? smooth so smooth you very rarely get a delay on a train here wow. very rare 
And I like how sometimes they connect them together. So it's like yeah, nose yeah, yeah. to nose. And look, look how clean the stations are. I oh, know this is brand This new, one's pretty, this one's pretty dusty. They're immaculate, actually. aren't they? Yeah. You could see this is a, still under construction. I think that those yeah, glass yeah, yeah. walkways are going to be a lot more beautiful when, when all the dust settles here yeah, and all yeah, the construction yeah. is finished because they're building sure. so much stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, the, the, the security was like, wait a second, you, you bought a ticket, but you're not and going on, the, on train. the train. It's like, it's like, they're so confused. They're so confused. They like, really can't get his head yeah, around. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Why would you buy a ticket and not take the ticket? <laughs> this is what we do for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to wait here until the train leaves, catch it leaving, and then, uh, then we're going to go up to the second floor on the exit area and see what's up there. That's right, we certainly are. Hey, check this out. So you've seen the drone footage that I shot. Look at this map. Oh my God, look at all these buildings. This is gonna look so amazing when it's finished. Holy moly. We know this place. We just saw this place. The, the construction of Xiong'an is in itself an impressive feat. We're gonna go check some of that out. We'll probably never experience it like this again. No, we have captured is... unique moments really, yeah, haven't yeah. we? You know, it will never be once things start rocking and rolling, you know. Come, come the Beijing Olympics next year, this will be like oh, easy. Rocking and rolling. Oh yeah, I even forgot the Beijing Olympics. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah. This place is gonna be ready, ready to rock and roll. That's crazy. Evil in China, aren't they? You know, we're just uh, two like security police. Yeah. So friendly, you know, you just gotta smile at them. Yeah, those two guys over there. Low, you know? They're like SWAT team members, just yeah. in case, you know, some some knocks off. Something kicks off. They're here they're for our safety. You know? Absolutely. That's one of the weird things about, and I know I'm not dogging America all the time, but a lot of times the, there's a feeling of fear when a police officer approaches you in America, you know, you yeah, don't I've, know. I've never had that feeling here. Yeah, never, I've never. always found them to be really helpful, even yeah. though I don't speak the language much, they're yeah. always really helpful. Oh, it's really, really nice. And I've even felt a little bit of frustration or fear, but I think it was from America, you know? And then as soon as I smiled to them, I was like, oh, it was nothing. Well, that, what do you think of that? That was pretty cool. <laughs> that was Glad pretty we cool. Did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, hanging out with this guy, you keep, you push me a little bit, just a little really? nudge, and you make me do the things that I would be a little bit apprehensive to do. do. Yeah, I'm surprised, man. Yeah, that <laughs> surprises me. And Maybe so, I'm not as confident as you thought I yeah, was. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed that. I'm glad we did it. You yeah. know, for, for the cost of a, a 60 RMB ticket, yeah. we got Ten to bucks. see all the inside of, of the train station yeah. and, and bring it to you guys, you know? And this train station's like, what do you think, about 30% complete? No, Half of the more rails. Than that. Probably more than that. Yeah, but they don't have any, like, the restaurants in that area, that's not fully developed. Yeah. But this, this is another example of where China build for the, the capacity future. to come and the future, yeah. you know? Yeah. Had they have built this in the UK, they'd have probably built it. By the time they finished building it, it probably wouldn't be big enough. Yeah. You know, we, we, they'd have to double it so already. Here, they've built like half of it, which won't even go into service for three years because they're anticipating the future demand. And that's, that's kind of smart. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna end this section. This is just gonna be about the, the beginning of our tour uh, here and the train station, because I think that's more than yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, right? absolutely. I mean, but Shongan has a lot more to offer. And we're gonna see it. We're gonna check it out. Yeah, we're gonna go. <laughs> Thank you for watching, really appreciate you all. Hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. If you did like the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. But as always, for now, take care.